Hi everyone. Welcome to another Tech Tips channel. Today I will share with you the configuration for the inventory management app in the last video. I highly recommend you may watch that video first to check out the functions and features of this app. You may click on the link at the top right corner to watch that video first. Okay, let's continue our workshop today. I will split the workshop video into three videos. First, we will go through the master data registration, such as stock master, warehouse racking master, and warehouse floor plan master. Next video, we will focus on the stock in stock out module. And in the last video, we will focus on the dashboard and the automation of alerting the person in charge for the low stock level. Let's check out the data setting. There are five tables required for the app. Location, map, master, movement, and quantity by location tables. The location table is for recording the location of the stock. The map table recording the floor plan map of the store. The master table recording the stock information. The movement table is recording the stock in out data. The quantity by location table is recording each stock quantity at each location. I will share the data column of each table later. All right, let's start with the warehouse floor plan master. The warehouse floor plan master is a deck view, which data is sourced from map table. And the position is set at menu. In the view option, we set the map image as main image and the map name as primary header. And also, we set the icon as map. The other setting we may leave it as default. Next, let's check out the detail view. In the detail view, there are two data shown, the registration location and then the map name. So in the user interface, we just need to set the column order as shown. And the other just leave it as default. Next, let's check out the form view. There are two inputs in the form view, the map name and map image. The map form is auto-created by apps sheet, so just leave it as default. Let's check out the map table configuration. There are three columns in the map table and one virtual column. Record ID is a key with initial value of unique ID function. As you see, this column doesn't show up in our user interface, so we just untick the show option. Map name is a name type, the name for the map. The map image is an image type that saves the floor plan picture. Related location is a virtual column. It is a list type, reference from the location table by matching the map ID. Alright, the map master is ready, let's proceed to the racking master. The Warehouse Racking Master is a deck view, which data is sourced from the location table. And the position is set on the menu. In View option, we set the image as main image, map name as primary header, location code as secondary header. And also, we set the icon as inventory. Next, let's check out the detail view. In the detail view, there are five data shown. The location code, map ID, coordination, stock balance, and stock movement. Next, let's check out the form view. There are five inputs in the form view. Location code, location name, 
location image, map and coordination. Let's check out the location table configuration. There are five columns in the location table and two virtual columns. Location code is a text type, and it is the key. Location name is a name type while the image is an image type. Map ID is a reference column to the map table. But as you've seen, the source table is a slice. I have created a slice for the map table, and set it as read only. This is to make sure user is only choose the existing created map. Coordination is AXY type, with background image referring to map ID dot map image. Related movement is a virtual column. Set as list type which refers to movement table with location code. Related quantity by location is a virtual column too. Set as list type which refers to quantity by location table with location code. Alright, the location master is ready, let's proceed to the stock master. The stock master is a table view, which data is sourced from master table. And the position is set on the menu. The listed records will be grouped by asset group by reorder column. We have two groups, the reorder list and the stock list. I will further describe these two groups in the table later. Next, set the column order as shown. Next, let's check out the detail view. In the detail view, there are seven data shown. Stock code, description, balance quantity, reorder quantity and image. Related quantity by location is the stock location. Related movements is the stock movement log. Next, let's check out the form view. There are five inputs in the form view. Stock code, description, image, opening quantity and reorder quantity. Let's check out the master table configuration. There are five columns in the master table and six virtual columns. Stock code is text type, and it is the key. With initial value of concatenating STK with row number. With this, newly added stock will always be assigned with the next unique stock code. Description is a long text type while image is an image type. Opening quantity is a number type and reorder quantity also is a number type. Related movements is a virtual column. Set as list type which refers to the movement table with stock code. Balance quantity is a virtual column. It is set as number type with an app formula. The formula is add up the quantity in the movement table with opening quantity. So the result will be the stock balance for the stock. Reorder is a virtual column with text type, it also assigned with an app formula. The app formula is an if-else switch. If the balance quantity less than or equal to reorder quantity, it will return a value of reorder, else it return an empty value. Related quantity by location is a virtual column. Set as list type which refers to the quantity by location table with stock code. Asset group by reorder is a virtual column, a text type and assigned with an app formula. The app formula is an if-else, which if the balance quantity is less than or equal to reorder quantity, it will return a value of reorder list, else it returns stock list. Alright, the stock master is ready. And today, we have go through the master data registration. 
Next video, we will go through the stock in and stock out module. So please stay tuned for our next video. We end here today. Bye.